Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Holland. Let's see what we can do here. The nobility have 20% and they only need 15%. Is there any land that we can revoke from the nobility? No, they only have three provinces, so if we tried to do that... Wait, oh, that's not true, we could we could take Holston from them. Increases their loyalty by 10 to 47.91%. Are we getting a lot of benefit from them having this land right now? Yeah, we're getting some more force limit, land force limit. I think the manpower is worthwhile. I would just leave it with it where they're at. What about the others? The burgers expect to control no land. Oh, looks like we can't do too much there. higher general. We have the leader slot. And they're pretty low on influence, so I think that's a good idea. We ended up with 313. Not bad. Our aggressive expansion's pretty manageable at the moment. We're still rocking the better relations over time, guy, to try to make that work. Galre is in the coalition against us. Their allies are fairly weak. Okay, I would love to connect my land. But Bremen is somebody that would cause issues for us. We would end up with uh, unlawful territory. Current emperor hates us. A Protestant, sorry, a Catholic Bohemia. So strange. We'll go down to about half maintenance. A little bit less. Norway wants to become a march. Hmm. Well, their increased coring cost makes me feel like I don't really want to do anything with it. Let's go ahead and say yes. Pretty well, what do you think? I don't like that they're so close to the English trade node. You know... They've got land in the North Sea, but nothing in the English trade node, so they're going to steal some of our wealth coming in from the North. But, you know, I, I don't normally play with marches. Let's go ahead and say yes. All right, we're not going to court. We're not going to integrate with Norway. Never. We'll return more of the islands to them. We're going to take most of the, the main landmass here, but they can keep some of these crappy islands. Um, and then we'll feed them, at some point maybe, we'll feed them uh, Scandinavia. Crap, we're at the military points gap. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. You have an alliance with Bohemia. Hmm. Got some unlawfully held territory over here. That would be attacking Castile. France would help. I'm pretty sure France wants that land. He values it strategically. Okay, we're very close to being able to take military tech. We don't actually have anybody giving us a study technology bonus. So who already has tech 11? We've got England, Norway, <laughs> Luxembourg, Bohemia does not, so it's just three people, Memmingen. Is it worth tying up a diplomat just to get a discount? I, th I think probably. We don't want to reroll generals, I feel pretty good about the generals, so I guess we're going to go back and do some development. Can't get loyalty up, so we can't get a further discount. Yeah, let's just do some development. Sort by cost, we'll go by cheapest cost, and that's all we really care about. Eventually, these provinces will all be accepted culture and other stuff like that. I mean, for now, I am probably going to skip up Finn, but...
Zealand's getting pretty developed. Anything we can do about this autonomy? Also, the Brookstad. Sure. We'll accept royal marriage with you, Norway. And let's take a look at trade. I mean, we already have 65% control in the English Channel. Might not be a bad idea to send some of our ships to the Lubick node. Well, trade power on the node's useful. Still doing funky math there. Still gotta go to the ledger to see the correct number. I think. Trade notes total. This one's accurate. This is just incoming plus local. Which is exactly what it should be. I don't understand why they calculate anything else. Uh English Channel has way more than Lubick. So I don't think we really need to worry about pulling trade just yet. Okay, so we still take our tech at the end of this year. England is fabricated on us. Sweet! Alright, this final core, do we want this? Hmm. I mean, it's 15 development, we do want it, I think, but... Danish is at 16.2%. Too bad we can't get that accepted. If we take over this province, we could. He's got no allies, so we're definitely going to want to do that. Wow. Thousand manpower from Zealand now. Uh, let's see... I'm assuming our vassal likes us. I mean, well enough that we don't have to worry about it, I think. We'll prove with them for a little bit, though. Conquer Ghent. Attack England, be at war with Sweden again. Wouldn't be horrible. Did those- did that navy automatically drop troops off? I think they just did, while they were protecting trade. They stopped off in a port and it automatically dropped the troops off. That's pretty cool, actually. I guess I'm okay with paying for this one fort now. We're making enough money, as is, to build a cover for it. Oh, I need more coastline. Just can't seem to... Darn unlawful territory. Bohemia is not going to be friendly with us until we get rid of Austria. Austria is not nearly as important. Visor cost goes down, and we lose a whole bunch of loyalty with a bunch of people. Well, most of it's pretty high, so it's not a huge penalty for a long period of time. We'll go ahead and say, fine. And Austria wants us to come to their con their aid in the Austrian conquest of Landshut against Bavaria. I'm going to fight Brandenburg. Sure. Give me uh, a month or two to raise my maintenance here, and I'll be right there. I have no claims. I can't instantly get a claim or start a claim. We have no spy network, so you can't do that thing where you, like, start a claim before you join a war anymore. But... We'll help out. Just give me a month to get my, uh, my stuff right. How do we feel about our church powers? 
I think we're all done with ideas for the moment, so let's get rid of that one. And power recovery speed is still probably fine. Yearly prestige. Pretty good. I think we need it. Uh, we'll take the discipline. Just give me one month to get my morale up. That's all I need. Unfortunately, doing that just caused him to arrive a little bit later. Okay, supply here is not nearly good enough for that. Um, we'll try to avoid attrition for a little bit. And then we'll spread out and loot these two provinces. We're just going to participate in this war without actually doing much. Uh, we've got a tiny discount. But I think we just take the tech now. We have no... Nobody giving us any information on Diplo tech. No one has it. Wow. We're the first. Alright, cool. It's fine, we'll be ahead. It helps out with corruption. We're now unbalanced research again. Bah! Can we spy on Sweden some more? No, that was the country we can't spy against anymore. Okay, who has... Does anyone have Admin Tech 11? Riga does. By all means, study that Riggin stuff. The distance multiplier sucks, but... Can you do, right? We march over to Berlin. No. No military access through here. They give us this tooltip, but it doesn't actually tell us if there is a uh there's no military access map mode. I keep on building barracks now. I'd love to get, uh... We, well, we haven't had to use mercs in quite a while, actually. Part of the reason why we're doing so much better financially now. Really turned it around. Our participation so far is only 5%, because we haven't participated in any battles. Novgorod has a personal union with Yaroslav. Well... That's, uh, that's rather impressive, Novgorod. You're doing a good, a good job. So I'm trying to figure out what the penalty is here. Like, how do they determine it? Is it... Uh, unbalanced how? Being three techs ahead on, on anyone... It might just be this three, tech, three technology point gap. That's sort of dumb, though. I mean, sometimes you don't have a control over it, you know? You could have, like, three rulers in a row who have all administrative focus, and what, what can you really do about that? In order to even be able to do this thing, you have to have a specific DLC, so... You know, I, I don't know. I don't understand why they're making you pay for it. Alright, how pissed off are you guys? This is not bad. I mean, it could be worse. The nobles are currently disloyal. They'll be fine in a little while. Give him a bit. Still want a better relations over time guy if we can. No? Okay, we'll settle for the trade efficiency guy. That might actually significantly help out income. 65% of our income coming from trade. Sick. Loot map mode. Damn disease outbreak. France still has no air. England has no air.
We're spying on Denmark because we wanted a claim. Holland? All oh, right, he's also got this province over here. I think we want to claim out both. Mm, the truce is up when? 35, that's pretty soon. Okay, so we're getting our fabricated claim on Memmingen was for military tech. I don't think we need that anymore. We do anything else to you, Mr. Free City Man. We'll corrupt your officials. Aha! You are corrupted. The siege has been going on for a whole year. We're still not done. It's weird because it was at point eight last month. Did they change something? Does the army have to actually be stationary now to loot? Let's test that. Oh, Bavaria will cede Landshut, Munchen, and Straubing to Austria. Bavaria will be forced to give Austria 10% of their income. I got 12 ducats. And I got 0.9 prestige. And I got five favors. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Not bad. Hmm. So Norway. How's it going, buddy? How many troops do you have? You have three. Three troop march. Pretty sick. I'm guessing his force limit's three. Most likely. Norway. I hate how I have to go to the ledger just to see this. Oh, he's got a force limit of five. Dude! Make more men. Not a complicated prospect, is it? Even though we can get a little bit more discount, I think we're going to immediately take Admin Tech 9 as soon as it's available to try to prevent the corruption. And we're definitely going to be going to war with Denmark soon. Aggressive expansion. Like, I think the coalition might be dead. It's just Magdeburg now. They're the only one. Yeah, let's improve with them. Get them out. Trader leaves our court. We have a minor trade crisis. Or we gain corruption. He has corrupt connect collection. Connections. Yeah, I guess we just get rid of him. I'm not gonna... I, I have a feeling that those are the type of decisions that you want to usually pick people out for. Besides, we ended up with a better relations over time guy. Which is great. Take the trade efficiency hit. It's fine. Corruption bad. Really need to get my legitimacy up. We need our character to die. We can't take this land. If I take this land, we're gonna end up with a civil war. Well, if you guys could just stop being fussy, that would be great. How is it that you guys were allowed to do that, but these guys can't? What the hell just happened there? You know, like... Why were they just allowed to black flag themselves? Who understands this game? Alright, 
Alright, so what we're hoping for then is that the Dutch Noble Rebels are going to stop being pissed off in five months. And then the army will be at full maintenance. And that will knock it down to zero. I feel like you should have a, be able to land on both sides. Why do they only have one port? Hmm? Hmm? Ask yourself that. You ever asked yourself that before? I know I asked myself that. Just now. Tolerance of heretics goes up. We don't care about that. Siege ability plus 10. Sweet. Infantry combat ability. Sweet. Trade efficiency. Sweet. All these things look good. Uh, we are going to take the deck. Which should hopefully get rid of unbalanced research. Nice. And how soon are they going to stop being pissy? One more month. Good. Unrest here is 5.3, so after they're no longer pissed, it'll be less. Tolerance, minus 3.23. Need more legitimacy. We could. We could do this. What if we did this? What if we got rid of icons? And we took unrest reduction right now. Let's do that. I just want to get rid of this problem. we go. That is enough to make that happen. Alright, cool. I think we're in a good spot. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon.